I was very inspired by the trip. Get up, Leah, you know, we're going shopping, we're, we're buying you a survival suit. You know, you're, you're coming with us. <laughs> you can't hear anything. My concentration was so immense that I had no perception outside to each wave at each moment and getting over it alive. I really wanted to know what it was like to experience that whole thing um, alone. So as it's going down, I realized just how small this thing is. It's tiny. But it's just, just three little sticks, you know, with this pod in the middle. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculously small. I've entered a race called the Faraday Mill Oster that crosses the Atlantic on Sunday. With last minute spares and engineering advice, the squadron 539 came to my rescue. I had one night where I cracked the case around the daggerboard, started filling up with water and spent five hours bailing, managed to fix it and continue on. And my readership doubled in that night. Before I knew it, there were about 10,000 people following me at the end of the race. Back in Plymouth today, after becoming the only woman to complete the All-Star single-handed transatlantic yacht race this year. Clear did prove that despite being the youngest competitor, she's 25 years old, she can make it on the open sea. I'm Leah Dithon, and this is my boat. For my second year of my degree course, I entered the Faraday Mill Ostar 2005 as a performance artwork. For my degree show, I'm bringing the boat up the Thames and putting it in the college courtyard on display. Leah Ditton is a conceptual artist who's just completed her latest project, Absolute Solitude, in which she recreated her experience of sailing the Atlantic single-handed by living on her yacht in the courtyard in the centre of London. So how did you get the boat there? And we took it up the Thames, lifted it out next to the MI6 building, rotated at 80 degrees, so near vertical, so it's 32 feet high in the air, and then trucked it over Boxall Bridge in the middle of the night, in the wrong lane, with a police escort. Fabulous. I'd wake up on weekends and just be surrounded by people. And of course, they know you're in there and they want you to come out. I had a conversation with Simon Mayo who tipped it, David Blaine meets Ellen McCarthy. So I spent a lot of time making um, sculptures with my rubbish. And although I physically went nowhere, we were relaying it to a gallery in New York over the internet. So the event itself was transatlantic. After the O-Star last year, I had ideas to compete in the route to rum. This boat came on the market very last minute and I said no way you can pull this off in time. Undeterred, the ambitious artist and sailor started a company to gather investors. And the boat is called Dangerous When Wet. Six British sailors will be taking part and one of those is Leah Ditton, the only female British entry in the race of 86 entrants. 